For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone with women's head basketball coach Julie Goodenough. Her team 6-0 and heading into a really important week against two very good teams. We'll talk about those in a moment. But coach, after the win against Northwestern State, not much went wrong. What really went well for your team? Gosh, our, our players just really locked down on the defensive end. Uh, we had great defensive possessions, just one after another. Um, just a, a great example of team defense. I felt like it was probably the most our players have talked and communicated on defense, mm. and it really paid off for us. And hopefully that will become a habit after the success that we had on Saturday. And that was a team that had been playing a lot of really close games coming in, right? Absolutely. I mean, they were losing by single digits, and we – um, emphasize that a lot with our team like hey this is a, a team coming in that they are, are primed for a win and so our defensive intensity has got to be at a high level for us to be able to counter that. We're a third of the way through the conference season six out of 18 games you couldn't do any better than you've done six and oh uh, why specifically uh, have you been able to to go unbeaten so far who specifically has stepped up their game in your mind? Um, you know I, I think that uh, Sierra, Sarah, Bree, and Dom have been really consistent leaders for us as far as just the work ethic they bring to practice every day, um, just their, their commitment to putting in extra work, to encouraging their teammates. They've done a great job of, of leading, um, I guess, work ethic and just uh, trying to foster the culture of excellence. And, and they've been talking a big game. You know, they're familiar with our conference opponents, and we're mm. the back-to-back -back conference champs. And so they have reminded their teammates of that. Like, we, we are supposed to win. Let's play like – we believe that we're going to win, um, but it's it's been really fun. We had have had a great schedule where we've been able to play at home quite a bit, and I think that's uh, been to our advantage, especially with this young team not having to travel a whole lot to start mm. the season out. And now that we've had some success, um, I, I think that we're ready to hit the road and, and um, look forward to seeing what our players do as we have to respond to being road warriors. Well, you are familiar with this week's opponent, Stephen F. Austin, on Wednesday night, Central Arkansas on Saturday. You are 39-3 and now in the last two and a half seasons in the conference. You lost two games last year in conference, one each to the teams that you play this week. You also beat them one each when you played them. Stephen F. Austin, you've won the last time, two times you've gone to Nacogdoches, but this is a team that not only is really good, they're playing well right now, aren't they? They really are. Uh, they're they're a good defensive team but they're scoring a lot of points uh, I think we're one and two in conference games right now and points scored and so you know whichever team wants to lock down and play better defense and have fewer defensive lapses I think will be the team that comes out on top in this game and then Central Arkansas the team with whom you share the conference uh, regular season championship last year there have been some great battles haven't they, the last few years with UCA oh absolutely yeah coach rushing does a great job she's been successful everywhere she's been she's really built a, a powerhouse Southland Conference program with UCA and so that'll be an extremely tough battle going into their place uh, they're the opposite of us and Stephen F you know they lock down and make you grind it out they don't give up very many points mm -hmm. at all they don't score a lot of points but they don't allow you to score many I think they're only giving up about 41 or 42 points in conference games and so um, you know two very different styles of play as far as what we're going to face on Wednesday, what we're going to face on Saturday. But, uh, you know, Grant, we're just going to focus on tomorrow's game yeah. and then we'll uh, figure it out after that. I know every game is its own game and, and uh, every game is important to you. Do you um, want your team to think a little differently about this week, given how good these teams are currently and how good they have been? Well, uh, the thing that we talked to our players about this morning, actually, is that we're starting to get into a time in our schedule where we're playing opponents that we're going to see again. Yeah, and right. so, uh, you know, if you can get a win on the road, it's a huge advantage because then they have to return the game at your place. And so I think our focus right now is just, you know, taking all the momentum that we've been building up in these past six conference games and take that on the road and compete on the road like we've been playing at home. And, mm. um, you know, it's, it's extremely hard to win on the road in our league. Not impossible, but it's just – it's a hard challenge to do that. And so I think we're just, um, you know, focused on making sure that our players are taking care of themselves, not being distracted, and really focused on our game plan going into these road trips. Three unbeaten teams in the Southland Conference. ACU is one of them. They play the other two this week. Stephen F. Austin Wednesday night and Central Arkansas Saturday.